in their thing is having a project charter. And there's a lot of similarity between PMP, Six Sigma, uh, Agile and Scrum, things like that. And one of the areas is project charter. And forming some tiger groups, right? And I'm coming up with a little project tighter, but I'm going to run the group as a scrum team. I'm going to facilitate, I'm going to play scrum master for this tiger team, right? They're, they're in for it, right? Like, oh God, Greg's going to be scrum master. We're in trouble. Um, so project charters, what's in a project charter? It has a one line title, which is just like your team or project or work you're going to take on, right? And that's very agile. We want to know what the vision is has a couple of vision statements in it, which is agile, right? Or you can say in that project title, it's just like our sprint planning, our sprint goal. So if you have a release goal or feature goal or whatever, that's in the project title, right? So it's the same stuff. It's no different. It's taking the best and using it and applying it as you go. Um, the list of people that are going to participate, no different, right? We got people, what their jobs are, what their expertise, what they're bringing to the table. So as the people, how much time they have, how often they meet, maybe like they have a group meeting. I don't think they're going to do a daily sprint, but maybe they do it every couple of days, maybe twice a week. And then they do a demo every week to what we would call the manager or a sponsor. So Agile likes having sponsors too. Anytime you do work and you do an work in an Azure fashion, it's really good to have a sponsor who promotes and backs you and protects you. So part of the sponsorship job is to protect the team. So, which is very similar to the way we work, the product owner, right? The product owner, the sponsor is the customer's voice. Well, they're not, but they protect the team. So it's very agile-like. And when we do a, a, a team norms, right? In that project charter, you might put some initial team norms, how the team's gonna operate. We're gonna meet once a week. It's gonna be on a Friday. It's gonna be for a half hour. You know, um, we'll chat on um, Slack or something. We'll post our stuff in SharePoint. We'll, we'll, we're going to run it in Jira. We're going to update as we go. You know, be on time to have meetings. If you can't make it, let the teams know. Um, if you get blocked, let the teams know. So, so that is your team norm, right? You can put that in your charter, right? So everybody knows how you're going to operate. So it's a team charter where the sponsor sees it. Everybody's a member of it. You can put your norms, how you're going to operate in there, but that's all agile. So when people say, oh, PMP is so much different from agile, it doesn't, there are a lot of things that are similar between the, the operations that you take from one world and apply perfectly in the other world. Now they may break up a little bit and what they're called and where they go, but they're basically the same stuff. So when everybody's, oh, that's PMP, and this is Agile, and nowhere in between shall the two meet. Well, I'm um, be honest with you, having done both worlds, they meet an awful lot. Okay. And you all have, ooh, let me make him come in. He's coming in. He's looking. I'm just messing with the YouTube video right now with the pumpkin. Just, just having. Rawr. Now, as we close out on our video, hey, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Please like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Here you go. He's got a little thumb. Yeah, thumbs up on 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I got the pumpkin with my thumbs up thing going on here. Thumbs up.